Hey everyone and welcome back to the CAF Convos podcast where we get down to the nitty gritty aspects of student life. We have new mini episodes every other Monday and we have new sub-series episodes every other Wednesday and the weeks in between. Make sure to check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube and check out our Instagram at the CAF Convos podcast. Hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Cafeteria Conversation. I'm Maxwell, today I'm joined by Matthew, and we're going to be introducing you guys a new sub-series here on the CAF Convos podcast. So pretty much um, we started our sub-series kind of doing Wednesday episodes uh, in the weeks in between when we're doing main episodes, so these ones are going to be like series, so we've had Girl Talk episodes come out, and now this is going to be a new series which is called Rants. So pretty much yeah. with Rants, what we're going to be doing is... It's going to be a more, bit more casual than our main episodes with the, the topics are not going to be as heavy or as like school related. So these ones are going to be more casual. We're just sitting. We're just talking. And we're as just you, chatting. Yeah, we're just chatting. And as you can tell by the title of this podcast episode, we're going to be talking about a not so high school musical. So I got to give a little bit of a, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> just saying, just saying the title is a bit of a funny one, but I got to give a bit of context to why we're, we've decided to name the episode. This so pretty much as of the time we're recording this, it's in the first week of February and we're beginning our second semester of senior year. This is the, our, the eighth, eighth of high school, our final semester. Eight, eight. Oh, okay. All the yeah. years, yeah, yeah. yeah all of the year, in the four years of high school, two semesters each year. It's the final eighth of our high school careers. We spent the last two online. So me and Maddie have somehow found ourselves in a situation in which, um, for the last few weeks, we have been watching lots of TV shows and movies. So we've been watching yes. a lot of anime. Watched like three shows in the last two weeks. <laughs> uh, also, another one we've watched. <laughs> High School Musical, the musical the series <laughs> on Disney Plus, and, and we also watched High School Musical three. So this is gonna be a bit of a watered down version of what went through our minds while we're watching High School Musical three, the senior year. <laughs> What, Keep what in is, mind, this all happened between the hours of 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. as well. Yeah. This wasn't just during the day. This yeah. was late at night. We grinded out the schoolwork, and then we got to the watch and late at night. So what are, what are you, let's talk about this, Matthew. What are you we don't have a senior year. Like, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. We're, like, fully online. Yeah. No, it's been something that's been on my mind for a while. I've talked about it in other episodes how, like, school's online. And, of course, this, this episode is going to sound a lot like we're like complaining and we're like oh this is so bad we're in such a bad situation because we don't have senior year well we all grad this prom this but of course like you have to take it with a grain of salt we're 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 teenagers we're not gonna we're not always gonna say the most perfect things we're just we're just we're just casually talking about our experiences and we're a little upset about it yeah but before we start, I am grateful for technology and the fact that we have school in the first place because I know it's... Imagine like, if we didn't. Yeah, it's a, it's crazy to think that, right? It's something that we overlook all the time because of how much we use it now, like what we talked about in our other episodes. But yeah, yeah we're thankful for school. We're thankful for everything that's going on, honestly. But what we're going to talk about yeah. is a bit of an exaggeration just because of the late night sadness about not having senior year. Yeah. So, High School Musical 3. High School Musical three, yeah, that movie. was the, I think that was the first one we watched. Yeah, I think that's what started everything. Yeah, yeah. So it was a uh, it was it was really random. I think it just popped into my mind, and I was like, because when I was a kid growing up, I have a younger sister, of course, right? So High School Musical movies were like pretty pretty uh, commonly watched in my household. So whenever I just hang out yeah, with my yeah, younger yeah. sister, I'd pop in the DVDs and the Blu Ray player on my like 40 inch tv or whatever and we're just we're just chilling watching high school musical right so i know like all the songs all this i'm not like a super super fan that can like recite the line but like i'm i'm a pretty 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 uh pretty well versed he knew most my... of it going through it the first time i remember you were singing along <laughs> keep in mind i've never watched i never watched any of the high school musicals at all so this was the first time i actually ended up watching high school musical and it, 
it's, oh my god it's been what a month since and i've know pretty much the lyrics to all the songs from the playlist <laughs> that we've had on repeat since <laughs> yeah no it's, it's it's weird it's really weird because it's like it's watching the movie like even any movie not even just high school musical and just sitting there th- like it feeling uncomfortable because there's so many people in one space not wearing masks it was so weird yeah no because like watching anything now like that was like produced before covid and everybody like sitting together like even looking at old photos of us all crammed into like you know the gym or you know the yeah, capturing yeah, and yeah. assembly like shoulder to shoulder in those oh, chairs it's just goodness. so weird to think that we actually used to do that man wow what a t- it's been a year almost a year now it's been a year yeah inside. march break would be a year yeah in so, quarantine i mean good things have come of it and bad some things some hey it made me start a podcast we did start a podcast. That's out of a pretty it. big achievement. I would say that's a pretty yeah. big accomplishment. But yeah, no, but watching it, it's just like the movies are just it's just hitting you where it hurts, especially watching it as a twelfth grader. I know, like, man. Like normally, it's like, yeah, we're gonna get to like, of course, High School Musical is an exaggeration. It's a musical. Not in normal life, you don't break out into song. And our high school careers were not like the most exciting and like things that you've ever seen that could be in like a teens kids Disney Channel movie. But it's yeah. like we're online now and they're they're having their senior seasons their basket the, the movie opens yeah. with like how what what number was it 16 right it's like 16 seconds yeah, left yeah, yeah, yeah. playing as a wildcat 16 seconds left in the game 16 or was it minutes or seconds i don't even remember maybe i'm not it was seconds i think i think it was se- okay was it? But, oh wait i can <laughs> yeah i don't know but the first song is like they have their final game of the season their final moments of their high school career this basketball team they're playing yeah. them, and then it's like we don't even get that, right? We don't even get to experience <laughs> that. Yeah, no. Because, I mean, odds are we're probably not going to be going back into school, or like, at least full-time, you know, by the end of the semester. I don't think vaccines are going to roll out fast enough. Yeah. So just thinking about all the, like, last times that were the last time, like, f- grade 11, first semester, all the things that we did then are, like, technically now our last times and last experiences of that, and we don't actually yeah. get to have the last experience of something. It kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's other things, like, like even in a musical, our school doesn't even do like a musical. But watching them, it's like like being with all of your friends, working on something. Like it brings back yeah. memories of like group projects and stuff. And I think a big thing with that was I was thinking about what we should talk about on this podcast episode. And I was sitting down, I was thinking, looking back on my high school, our our what two and a half years in high school, like in normal high school. Yeah. And I was thinking, like. I don't think you can actually say like which like because I know like a lot of people are like oh class of twenty had it bad because they lost the second half of their semester oh yeah and then it's like class of twenty one which is us has it bad because we don't get our entire senior year and it's like oh the the class of twenty two which is like the kids that are in grade eleven now have it bad because they only had one full year of high school I don't think you can really like compare which one's worse because they all have that's not compare yeah they all have their their factors but I think one thing for me that stuck out was like i would have done more and i would have yeah. taken more opportunities that i could have in high school like knowing that i was going to lose the last year and a half in high school right yeah now the only thing i can compare because you were talking about how you know like grade thir- well first year uni students now losing this second half of the year the only thing that ever compares to that is you know the grade nines that are now going into yeah. high school that just yeah. can't conversate with anyone that are all online with cameras that probably aren't on because you know who turns their camera on when they know nobody in class yeah. they're all just sitting there in silence the poor teachers that have to deal with- that's the only thing that compares to that but there would have been so many more things that mm-hmm. i would have done in grade 11 now if i knew that we were not going to be in person i miss band i think that's the biggest thing that i miss just coming from you know doing like five hours of rehearsals worth like every week going to absolutely nothing i mean we still do rehearsals online for like a couple hours but it's not the same it's not the same being crammed into one room with everybody all hanging out together yeah i'm not in band but like like even just club meetings after schools like those times when it's like like oh uh are you coming to the meeting after school and it's like yeah we're just hanging out in a classroom talking like doing whatever your club activity is and then also like going out to lunch like actual lunch period yeah man when like everybody would wait in the halls there would be like a common gathering spot at somebody's locker that was in the middle of everything that you would all meet up and then walk yeah because yeah there was there was a one fish and chips place that we all went to all the time during lunch just because everybody loved it and (sighs) yeah it doesn't happen anymore 
It's like like I think um when we were we we had like we have a lot of like photo albums like not actual photo albums but like Google photo albums like iCloud photo albums that we like go through and it's like photos and photos of stuff that we did and it's like we could have it's like oh why didn't we do more but it's also like oh, why was this taken away from us right because yeah like I think when you're in grade when we were in grade nine and ten at least it's like oh right now it's like the grades don't matter as much so I can have fun, and then there's a lot more to look forward to in the next two years that will come, like, when I'm older yeah. and I have, like, more of a seniority in the high school. You know, like, that grade 8 feeling of you're the top dog in the school. Yeah, and man. anyone else in the school is, like, younger than you. And, and on that, that feeling that was in grade 8, we're, like, we're not really going to get the exact same thing. I don't know if it is the exact same thing because I'm never going to experience it. Yeah, I know, exactly. We were, in the first place. This man. is all just us guessing from watching High School Musical 3, okay? <laughs> like, yeah, and talking to people just... that have had their senior years. But yeah, it's just like, like when you're in grade 9 and 10, you, like, you think you're going to have... I think this is applicable in more situations, not specifically just like school, like anything in life. Some, like, what was that quote from The Office? Have you watched The Office? Yeah, but which season? What in the final final episode? Oh wait, the Andy, Andy Bernard, Bernard, Bernard when he says, um, um, he says, "I wish I knew when the good times were before they left." Yeah, I wish I knew or when something the like good that. Times were before they left because then I would have appreciated the good times more, right? Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, 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 it's like we think we have so much more time ahead of us that we can spend with these people, but then all of a sudden, like this global pandemic covid everything's gone. gone we stay inside the only interactions we have is like two feet apart two not two feet two meters two meters two meters two everybody meters, everybody six feet yeah six feet apart wearing masks and it's like outside and like we went and dropped off our textbooks at school last week and i was like walking through the halls and there's pylons everywhere and there's like teachers sitting there with face shields and masks with like the sign in there's hand sanitizers everywhere all the yeah. tables are spread out to drop off your textbook and it's like wow this is really like one of the final times i'm going to spend in this building is dropping off my yeah. textbooks like walking through it like it's a car wash you know at least some of the good news is we're going back in a, in a week or so and now they've allowed us to go back in person so at yeah. least we get to you know actually see people on a day-to-day -day and not just through a screen yeah. because honestly i think my screen time is somewhere around the range of like 10 hours a day at this point for yep. the amount of time i spend on my computer yep. it's actually ridiculous yeah it's uh it's weird because it's like it's not even just like the big things like, oh, we're not going to have a proper graduation because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think our school is going to organize that for us. Um, I don't. We're not going to have a prom because, of course, we're not going to have a prom. Like, I mean, who no. knows? Anything can happen. I don't think we are, but anything could happen, right? Very um, skeptical that they're going to yeah. be able to get vaccines out by then. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we're going to be able to actually organize something. Yeah. No. So no grad, no prom. And it's like, you have no final homecoming. Homecoming wasn't even that big of a thing at our school, but it's just like... Oh, we didn't really it. have homecoming. Yeah. Yeah, no, but like having like, the day when all the games were happening and like sports teams, clubs. Yeah. But then you you look past all of like those bigger things, which are more like easy to point out. And then it's like the small things because like it's like watching High School Musical 3 and it's like you walk by someone you know in the hallway and you dap them up. And we're just like, <laughs> when was the last time we did that? It's been <laughs> so long. The sheer amount of realization going through that movie and what we like somewhat used to do in yeah. school, like remembering what we did in school, just seeing people in the hall, talking to them for like five seconds yeah. before you like half jog away because you realize you're late to class. Like that's not going to happen again. Yeah. It's that unfortunate reality that things won't be how they were before. And then also the realization that, like I, f I feel myself I didn't appreciate the time that I did have in normal school as much as I could yeah. have knowing that it would have been taken away right yeah no because like while we were still in school we were complaining about everything so like all the tests that were coming yeah. up like you know having a couple tests in a day or you know the project mm -hmm. was due by the end of the week we would always find something to complain about but now realizing after what we're doing right now yeah that was so much better than what we have now yeah and there's a, what are some other small things that we were talking about it's like there's moments when it was like 
they're like they're like sitting in the calf at a table with people and it's like oh they can't sit at a table like we're watching the movie yeah like, no even the smallest <laughs> thing in like the smallest scenes of the movie it's like oh they're sitting at a cafeteria table with other people what are we gonna do we can't sit at a cafeteria we'll never be in the cafeteria and then it's just like he says hi to a random guy in the hallway that's like a side yeah, row no. it's like you said hi to a guy in the hallway dude we're not gonna oh get my this. god like i was thinking about it like Okay, I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast. That would be interesting to talk about, like a friendship dynamic episode. But there are tears, I think, to friends that you have in high school and like school. Tears. Season, I think. Tear, tears. Okay, not not tears, but like, like you know the levels of like how close you are with certain people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, like yeah. you got like your your close friends, which is like the inner circle, which are the people you talk to the most and like you go to when it's like more important things. And then you have like the larger friend group, which is like broader and there's like people that everyone's chill with and you guys like hang out when you do more like group event stuff yeah and then there's like those those people who you are friends with and you share you have like shared experiences with but the reason you guys are friends is more because of the experiences like the smaller experiences you shared rather than like you guys talk regularly and yeah. you hang out all the time and you go out all the time. It's like the people like that, certain clubs or sports. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like the people you're on like a team with. Like I have like teammates, like people that I'm friends with just from playing on the soccer team with them. Like I'm probably not gonna talk to like I feel yeah. like it's unfortunate it's the unfortunate reality that I might not talk to like two thirds of the people that I talk to in normal high school just because there's no more opportunities to have classes with them in which i interact with them in person it's like you can't talk with your friends in, in you can't do that in a meet you like come on <laughs> yeah. in a zoom call on a google meet you can't do those things right it's like like just talking with people in the class and like just seeing people's faces like i was thinking about it, it's like that's gone like i'm i might never interact with some of the people that i considered like friends in high school because we won't have those times that we can spend together like the random times yeah there's like a sizable amount of people and you know like i remember doing ski club in grade 10 before it got shut down due to safety reasons or mm-hmm. whatever they decided to label it under i haven't talked to those guys in i don't know how long i wish i could i wish mm-hmm. there was like I, you know i could go and talk to them because i mean i miss that they were great ski club was fantastic there's some people in band that you know i haven't talked to in a while just because i don't see them in person anymore mm-hmm. and I, I don't know it feels like awkward to just you know randomly say hey remember that time that you know we were in you know band and we had to play that one piece and, yeah. you know yeah. it's just it feels awkward it, you know you're not going to get that opportunity to talk to them again because you're not going to have that shared experience which i mean kind of sucks and it cuts down you know the amount of people that i talk to on a somewhat regular basis and like half almost mm-hmm. I do have to be grateful for online though because I think being online um I know we use Discord a lot for talking with like people and like helping with homework and stuff like that with our classes. I think that has actually helped me like being on Discord more has helped me become closer to like like different people that I didn't spend as much time with. You know, oh, yeah, so for that sure. is one thing, yeah. I don't I think I became close with those people, so that's a plus side. Yeah. The the people that, you know, you kind of knew about and you would wave it to in the halls but you know, didn't really talk to. I feel like that the group of people that i would like actively talk to has grown but the group of people that you know you would interact with you know like once a week or twice a week is yeah, like shrunk down yeah. to nothing yeah it's the different levels of friendship in high school man it's just the way yeah. your life goes what are some other things from high school musical um trying to think basketball scene i think there was like the graduation scene at the end was the, the grad scene the yeah. grad scene because okay we talked about like how grad is like a big thing that we're not gonna have and re- realistically it's a romanticized version of graduation no one's doing like these synchronized dances when they're going all <laughs> yeah like, no like, this in, like a like a conga line but was... i think just like just having something in the first place like... is like you know, those people that you would interact with once, yeah. once a week or twice a week, you know, to see them for one last yeah. time and actually, you know, be able to hug them goodbye and, see, yeah. you know, it was fun. Nice, nice meeting you, all that kind <laughs> yeah, of it's fun like, stuff. It's weird. We're never going to, like, I think one thing was, like, I was looking at a couple of photos. Like, I saw, like, I follow some people that graduated a couple years back from our school and it's like, yeah. When you're at graduation, there's like that time, more, like before and after the graduation, when you're just like hanging out with all of the people and you're wearing your caps and gowns, right? It's just like we're never gonna get that moment where we can like say that goodbye with some yeah. people that we actually spent like a good amount of time with in high school. Like I think when you think of graduation, it's like 
it's like it's a send off, right? It's like you're finally done your four years, and like as much as you can be like, oh, we're not gonna get the moments when we break into song, and we're not gonna get moments when we start oh, dancing. I, I was right? never like, looking at that, exactly. man. That's that that's the mo- that's the musical aspect. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just you know. yeah, that's the musical aspect, and it's like the like the blown out of proportion version. But yeah. we're not gonna get like those small moments where we spend time with like people that we were in classes with that like there's some people I was in classes with in like grade nine that I was like good friends with just because we were in the same class but now we don't talk because we're not in the same class we're not in anything that's shared right so it's like yeah no you would get closer to the people that were in your class for you know that semester and then you know it kind of trail off and it kind of sucks but yeah you'd make like really close friends for that amount of time Mm -hmm. it's weird it's just weird thinking we might not know like what universities or like colleges those people are going to. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show up to our university and all of a sudden, hey, I know that guy. I didn't know he was coming here. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, like, I guess in those moments would be like, oh yeah, you're going to this school. Nice, good job. Like I'm going to this school, this program. I'm going to this. I'm going to apprenticeship here, whatever. Right? Because you get to interact with those people through those small moments shared at school. But when that's taken away, it's like, oh, I don't want to, like what you're saying with like talking to just people randomly about texting people out of the blue, them, right? It's like <laughs> you have you have your their number, but it's like this this weird feeling. It's like, why? Like like if I do, what's gonna happen? Like how is it gonna be like a weird it? awkward it's conversation? Like, yeah, like <laughs> yeah yeah I remember that yeah because it's like those people that you just say hi to in the hall, and I don't yeah. want to like like say like oh your friendships aren't valued because they are valued because obviously you oh yeah no i don't mean that in the slightest like yeah value everything Mm -hmm. it just sucks that you know don't get to interact as much due to circumstance yeah yeah so uh, it's like i want to find out where people are going but i don't want to go out and message like hundreds of people that are like following my instagram and just have random people like the message let's just well, not s- random we could just send out a form or something just get everybody in, a, in the grade to fill it out just to figure out where people are going <laughs> where so at least it's not a surprise yeah, name yeah university blah, blah, blah. google forms google form send it out in a newsletter <laughs> yeah google forms can save so many things oh my we made too many google honestly forms. yeah no i think that like i th- there were like a couple projects that we had to do that I was looking at, like, um, some of our gifted summatives. Uh, for oh, those of you that yeah. are listening that don't know what gifted summatives are, pretty much because of, like, the special program we were in, at the end of the semester, instead of doing a um, a project, a final project for, like, one course and then the other course, the two gifted courses would, like, combine, and then you'd combine with, like, all of the students that are in the program, and you'd be split up into groups. And then you have to do some weird abstract project that combines... Yeah the two of the subjects from the classes so that so even if you were in different classes you know you would still be able to see everyone because there'd be joint work periods and the entire gifted group would come together and actually you know interact and create these whack projects i'm not even gonna lie some of them were really (laughs) weird man (laughs) that 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 oh man we'll we'll see you talking about those stories yeah some weird things happen with those projects but yeah it's just like 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 the the behind the scenes of what went into doing those projects as weird as they were was like a fun time yeah like just doing group like now with the way timing is and like online school it's like teachers aren't doing group work because it's like oh no one has their cameras on no one wants to talk no one's interacting it's like breakout rooms are the most awkward thing in my life where your teacher will put you in with two people you don't know and then you'll just yeah. be saying they're like hello hey guys um what do you think about uh, this question, right? The interacting with the people and like the social level is completely different. And I'm actually really grateful like for our group of friends. Like we we have a good group of friends that we like spend a lot of time with, play games with Honestly, yeah. and stuff. And I think if I don't know how I'd be doing if I didn't like I'm a kind of person that like isn't too like talkative in person, but I like to have like a good group of people that I know that I can go to and talk with about things. And I think yeah. if I didn't have that at a time like this, I would be struggling. Honestly, yeah, no. Having, you know, that outlet to, you know, just jump in a call with somebody, you know, tell them, hop in the, hop in the voice channel, you know, let's yeah. talk just v- v- randomly, whether it's a game or, you know, it's school or whatever. Just being able to hop in with whoever in the server is just nice to have as an outlet. 
Because yeah. otherwise, I don't know how well I would be doing just, you know, sitting alone at home for who knows how long in between classes, you know, if you're not with people. Yeah, I couldn't imagine it. Like, like I get tired from sitting at my desk and, like, being on Google Meet calls for so long. But yeah. like, And if I didn't have that, like, little burst of energy or excitement that I get from being able to interact with people just by, like, talking. Like, sometimes we'll, we'll, we'll be doing work and we'll just be sitting there in silence doing work on our own. It's just, like, that feeling of being around people even though you're not really around people it it's so weird different. that things that that works it's you know it's the whole you know going out to the library to study yeah, for exams together too, yeah. kind of feeling you know when everybody whether you're studying for like three different types of exams whether that be like a physics a chem exam and then you know like a psych exam everybody's still just sitting in the same room you know yeah. just studying keeping each other focused kind of thing yeah it's like it's the accountability thing and it's the social thing it's like um I'll bring up this funny story. The last semester before all this COVID stuff happened, um, I had co-op, which took up two periods, and then I had Latin and physics. So Latin didn't have an exam because it had a big final project, which is like building a model and then writing an essay and stuff. And then, yeah. and so I only had one exam, and that exam was physics. So what me, uh, me and Naman had like the exact same schedule. So we both only had the physics exam. So what we did was we were like, yo, we'll just go to the library every day because we don't we both don't live too far from the library right we're just like why don't we just go to the library every day for like six hours and study for the exam uh if you're listening to this i don't know if it, w it will work for you but it did not work for me because i found that we, <laughs> like, if, if you if you channel your studying into shorter amounts of time and take breaks you'll learn more instead of just saying i'm gonna go here and do this the entire time with no structure or anything you'll find yourself getting distracted because we were are you, are just you? hanging out in the library the entire day with our binders out so it looked like we were studying we didn't get something done i think the bigger problem you study for you know like an hour realize that you don't want to study for anymore and then for the next five hours just sit there talking yep. about whatever random stuff that you want to talk about and yep. you know call it studying <laughs> yeah just because you were at the library yeah but it's like those small moments, right? Like I was talking about before, it's just talking about like being at the library, walking by people in the hall. Like I think being in the library was one, like some of the most fun moments, I think. I think like when COVID was first becoming a thing around the world and it hadn't come to Canada yet, it was like a joke, right? Like I yeah. think there was one time... I don't remember. I think it was one of the days that we were studying for the physics exam in the library. An alarm started going off in the library, and then everyone's just sitting there at their study tables. Someone yells out, "Yo, it's the COVID alarm!" <laughs> and then we were all like, "Ah, <laughs> yeah. We were, yeah!" It was so funny because we we're all like, "Ah, COVID, right? We're, it's not gonna affect us. Oh my it's not gonna. It's not gonna." It's not going to do anything to us because it's just in like Europe. It's overseas. It's, it's Who overseas, cares about right? that? COVID's not going to be in Canada, and then all of a sudden it's. 10 hours on a computer for in front of Google Meet. We've been trying to in our rooms for the last 11 months. Yeah. What a what what was what a joke it was when people just started buying masks and people were fighting for toilet paper, right? Now you don't have a mask. What are you doing with your life? It's it's crazy how it's been only a year and this has happened. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems like a long time, but in reality, it's not been. And how quickly the world has turned around, or I guess somewhat turned around, because I don't know, you know, how many people actually follow the mandates the government put out. Yeah, Anyways, oh that's a different topic, but it's crazy how things have changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another weird thing is, like, I was on vacation, like, right when... Yeah. Like, you remember that in, in March? Yeah, no, I remember. Everybody oh was texting goodness. you. You were still on that cruise. It, yeah. Like, where were you again? I can't even remember. I was, okay, so yeah, the story was I, I left school like a week early to go to the States in, and go to Florida. And then this the was cruise, before March break. But Yeah, a week before March break. And then like we stayed in, uh, I don't remember. It was Miami. I think we stayed in Miami for like a couple days. And then our cruise went out and then we went like Caribbean like mexico all that and we're just chilling on this boat in the in the middle in the middle of nowhere on this boat my biggest concern was like oh when am i gonna go down 
to the main floor and get more pizza or like when are we going, when, are we, when are we docking next or like what what other entree and am i gonna get from the unlimited menu and then all of a sudden we're in a cab in mexico and i read the news and it says why are you which is our school board extends the march break for two weeks and then we're like oh my goodness two more weeks i can catch up for all of the tests that i missed from the week of school yeah. that i missed but then come back and it's like we got back the um the day that they announced or no not the day that they the day that the borders were going to close between they the did US. the, the, the yeah, day the borders did the close day, yeah. the day they were going to close so what happened was my dad was having bad asthma attacks because of like the cruise and all of that stuff yeah and like with all the covid that was starting to get worse in the u.s we decided like we would cancel our plane tickets in case they didn't let us on the plane and we would just rent a car and drive all the way back so we drove drove the 21 hours back and it was insane because it's like reading the news as you're driving a car across the like a, from, <laughs> from florida to like south carolina i don't even know the map of the united states where we where we went, but just we, driving yeah, just driving all the way from florida to ontario in two days to get back so we didn't get locked out like i'm, I'm pretty sure we probably wouldn't have like, get, gone locked out because we're i don't think you would have been it. like left to stuck in like a hotel <laughs> yeah. in the u.s or anything like that but, but yeah. it's scary thing that you're like rushing against the time the borders are closing like yeah. i can imagine yeah and like like i didn't realize that that vacation was almost a year ago yeah it's such a weird thing to think because it's like time is moving so fast, but at the same time, time is moving so slow. Like it feels like every day is like the same thing, but then you look at the calendar and you realize that it's already February 2021. I, I thought the new year was like a week ago, but like, <laughs> yeah, a, there was a couple of days ago I was saying, I thought the new year was like a week ago. How are we in February already? I got to yeah. finish these sub apps. What is this? Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's a weird feeling because it's like, we're going to, we're going to move on to new challenges and to new territory soon when we go to university right yeah but at the same time it feels like we haven't left grade 11 because we haven't yeah. it feels like it's just been a long like it extended march break hasn't ended everyone it's still vacation it really right? hasn't it feels like that because like not much has been going on and it's like bringing it back to talking about like the small things that you miss it's like you realize how different your life has been when you live at home because like how it would be is like you wake up you eat or you don't eat or whatever and then you go to school mm -hmm. and you have your classes which are like 75 minutes five in between walking in between classes interacting with people then you come home and then like you have your routine that you do regularly right and then that was just snatch you had it yeah. yeah like it was gone so all of a sudden like that first we talked about it in the burnout but it was like the, the burnout episode but it was like the first few weeks was like you don't know what to do it's like no structure staying up super late like because you can do anything at any time and it doesn't really matter because everything's flipped around and you just have nothing else to do but stay inside that's such a it's such a weird feeling now that yeah no like it feels like grade 12 started in march break you know what i mean like yeah. grade 11 stopped when we started when we stopped going in school and yeah. then grade 12 started when we started doing online yeah and honestly i'm not gonna lie because of the board mandate that marks weren't going to drop i did not do a lot of work in that second semester because yeah. you know your marks not going to drop you did what was necessary and that was it and just schedules were wrecked i remember staying up with everybody until 5 a.m regularly yep just doing whatever it wasn't it wasn't even just for a purpose it was just that was the normal at that point and it was really weird you know and i I think I've gotten better at, you know, other than January, trying to correct that back to a somewhat normal schedule. <laughs> other, other than the last oh. three weeks of staying <laughs> yeah. at I'm watching but anime yeah. and TV shows. <laughs> I know. It's been so weird that, you know, still trying to form a schedule, even though nothing feels scheduled. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. I think in hindsight, we'll, when, whenever this is over, I think we'll look back and it'll be... We'll, we'll be able to highlight more of the positive things that came out of it once we're out of it i'm sure yeah because yeah. it's like you're down when you're like when you're down in the dirt you're down in the dirt but once you get out you realize like the things that came out of that right yeah like this pod like realistically if we were not at home so much of our time we probably wouldn't have done this podcast yeah 
I, I don't think I would have had the time in a regular school year yeah. to be doing this because, I mean, a lot of my time went into hockey, but that was canceled. Band was short, and, you know, all the extra extracurriculars that I did kind of got cut out, and that kind of opened up space for new things to, you know, come out of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know what? We started this podcast, picked up a couple hobbies, you know, that I do at home now. Yeah. It's not all bad. Mm-hmm. It's just sometimes you look back at what you had, and you realize we were doing that a year ago. Yeah, you miss it. Like, I'm getting yeah. my Snapchat memories popping up, stuff that we were doing. Like, <laughs> yeah. Man, my Snapchat memories this year is going to be completely different because it's just me, like, posting, like, food. Or, like, posting, like, a movie I'm watching or a show I'm watching. Cause yeah, they're going to be like, photos like of this. the screen, you know, <laughs> yeah. hanging out with yeah. people. <laughs> For the entire year, just just pictures of video calls. Man. Yeah. Yeah. A not-so-high school musical. Yeah. So I think that's everything that we have today for our rant. I think episode. we cover. I th- I think that's some some it's you know everything that happened in the last three weeks. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in to our little, not little, our pretty big rant, our pretty big yeah. rant about COVID and the senior year and a not so high school musical. If you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or any other podcasting platforms, make sure to drop a follow or leave a rating if you'd like. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button and also the big red subscribe button right below. We have new episodes coming out every Wednesday and alternating Mondays. So we hope you stick around for new content coming soon. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good week. See you next time.